The Hidden Links Between the Beatles and Jimmy Page It's a well-known fact that Led Zeppelin dominated the 1970s, just as the Beatles dominated the 1960s. Melody Maker's annual fan vote ultimately deposed the Fab Four by naming Led Zeppelin as the winner. This streak lasted eight years. Drummer John Bonham of Led Zeppelin made the observation, the kids are changing and so is the music changing, when asked about this change. People of various ages have shown up to our concerts recently, so I don't think it's fair to generalize about the public at large. To hear what you have to say, I believe they are come to hear you play, not merely to take a glance at you and assess your nature. There was a great deal of mutual regard, though. The fact that Jimmy Page was a bloody good guitarist was something that John Lennon, a Led Zeppelin admirer, pointed out. He makes a good point. For some reason, the idea that Jimmy Page contributed to the score of the Beatles' A Hard Day's Night by playing session guitar has stuck around, despite repeated denials. A couple of strange threads do run across the two communities. In an affectionate but challenging statement, George Harrison famously said that Led Zeppelin don't do ballads. Jimmy Page saw this as a challenge. In the process of writing The Rain Song, he included chords from Harrison's Beatles hit something into the composition. In retrospect, Jimmy Page said, I wrote Rain Song, which appears on Houses of the Holy. He went on to say, in fact, you'll notice I even quote something in the song's first two chords. Lastly, there's the belief that the Beatles' spelling of Jimmy Page's name is somehow related. They changed the spelling from the Silver Beatles, and many people have theories about why they did so. I was actually here before when I was 16 years old, Jimmy Page remembered when visiting Oxford University in 2017. The Beatles actually spent some time hanging out with a poet named Royston Ellis, because he was a beat poet in a way. He suggested that the Beatles adopt a moniker similar to that of the beat poets, suggesting that they change their name from the Silver Beatles, which had two E's, to something more fitting. He was a poet who came to give a talk, and I was playing guitar alongside him while he recited a couple of his poems. So, the fact that I am still here after all this time is quite intriguing.